cases, nobody is really talking about it. I'm gonna tell y'all why queer people are built differently. Okay, listen up. But I'll be mostly speaking from my own personal experiences with cis hetero individuals, so I'll be saying for me a lot, so bear with me, y'all. Some of us will fight men, women, and children all the same. Why? Because you taught your kids, and your parents taught you, and your, their parents taught them, and so on and so forth, that it was okay to hate us because of our sexual orientation. It was somewhat taboo in your household, especially if you was raised religiously. So with that being said, for the men, if y'all still wear the pants and leave the household, you let it be known everywhere you go that you're not with that gay shit. You can't stand these punks. You can't stand these fags. I wish they didn't exist. So then your wife, your girlfriend, your baby mama, your old lady, or your mistress, concubine, whatever you want to call her ass, she have your back 150% blindly to the fact that you're a homophobic and you're most likely down low. Condones your hatred for us and also dehumanizes us as well. So then it trickles down to your kids. What a blessing they are. Side note, there is a such thing as queer kids, but we'll get to that later. So then, the recycle hatred you two fools have trickles down to your kids, and you wonder why they always in fights at school, because he beating on Jamie because he's different. For me, I had to protect myself against children as well as adults, because they all was coming for me. Y'all didn't hear me. I had to protect myself against children my own age as well as adults, elderly people as well probably fought some of y'all people but we'll get to that later when i grew up and became one of the most beautiful teenagers i had to protect myself against my peers children as well as adults like i said and you know i had to protect myself against teachers as well i would get into a fight or a scuffle and go to the principal's office and get the same treatment the same you know punishment as the person that bullied me never understood why you know until i grew up more and start seeing and start articulating you know how people really are you know realizing that you know the teachers would see me getting bullied and then you know act as if it wasn't okay for me to defend myself and send us both to the office and the principal will you know look down on me as well because i didn't know at the time what homophobia was so you know i would get the same treatment go to iss or whatever you call it you know and get the same treatment then i would go to stores and still sometimes that still happens you know not as much but i would go to stores and you know a couple with their children you know the children would be like ew and then the parent won't even say nothing about it and thinking bitch i will attack all of y'all the same time same time all of y'all can get it because for the men y'all real men feel that we're less than that we're less than a, a man because we are queer and y'all think that it's okay y'all you know the women think that it's okay you know be right there behind him and then you know want the kids to be you know doing the same thing and thinking that i don't have heat or we won't have heat for all y'all then y'all go around trying to tell us how we should live it's okay for y'all to be gay but don't be publicly you know showing affection don't be publicly twerking dancing having a good old time being your authentic self say like Slick me in the closet. But y'all have gay friends though. But what do you know about his or her personal life? Or do you even care? Y'all dehumanize us to make it okay for one of us to get murdered. And that's not okay. I'm finna get very deep. For the women, y'all wonder why you catch your husband in a hotel room, bathroom, whatever you can wherever you catch him at, messing with one of us. But you stood ten toes behind your husband. But then you have gay friends, but you telling them it's okay to be gay, but it's not okay to be out and proud and happy about their lifestyle. But you brought it on yourself. And you don't, you're not thinking that one of us is petty enough or, you know, well, I have no other option. Other, it's not many other open gay people, so I might as well sleep with somebody else's man. What are our options? Our dating pool is small. So acceptance is key really i'm not asking for y'all acceptance i really don't give a fuck y'all don't validate me whatever but come on now don't dig your own hole and wonder why it's 
fucked up for you and real hurt in your room real time. For me, if you feel like you're gonna be with your child and you know you tell your children to respect their elders, but not to respect us because we're not real men, we're not real women, and we're not real anything. Y'all dehumanize us so much to your children, and they're not and they're not gonna respect me. I will kick a kid ass, just like Bernie Mac said. I will kick your kid ass and be ready to serve you the hands as well, cause you're not gonna destroy me. Life didn't with these motherfuckers. I had to fight. I, you're not gonna destroy me neither. Okay, we are the least protected under women. We are the least protected queer people. We are. We are. We are. We are not even human. We're not human. And I know y'all read and heard on the news O'Shea being murdered just for Vogue and being his authentic self. But a lot of y'all believe that that's okay. And I and don't be wondering why. Don't even ask me to be going to your church to believe in your God, to believe reading your Bible, because I'm not. I'm not. If that's how your God is, please don't 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 be surprised if I'm not gonna step into one of y'all churches. I'm not. I'm not. I know this may seem to be going all over the place, but it's a lot that happened to me, and it's a lot that happened to us as fellow queer people. And notice, I didn't say black or white because I know we all experience something. We all have our own personal experience in life because of our queerness you know at the end of the day it's not about race okay okay it's all about being a human we're all human and we all bleed red and we all gonna die one day none of us are immortal okay so you know it, it's too much going on it's too much to be going on worry about the gun violence worry about why your kids don't feel safe at school because of the teachers trying to touch on them worry about that don't be worried about people that, you know, worry about the pedophiles, worry about the sex offenders, worry about them. We're not touching your kids, but some of us don't, but we can, and y'all see that. We deserve to live. Stop trying to take our vote against our livelihood. That's not fair, and it's not right. Don't be asking us to march with you if you're going to be trying to stab us in the back. Don't do that. That's not okay. I'm not your toy. I'm not just there to there to be used when you feel like you need me and for black folk look up black queer history you will be surprised because they try to de destroy us everything good that we do because but we always been there so i know this is a long video but it's a lot and it's a lot more that i can say but if y'all don't get this and unfortunately some people m will misconstrue what i said and you know that's not okay neither but it is what it is